everyone and welcome back to my virtual classroom. For those that are new to my class, please don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for your attendance today. And for our maths episode today, we will be talking about the perimeter and area of a 2D shape. So before we head to the whiteboard and learn something today, as always, as teacher Maria would say, please do live your life to the fullest, learn something new every day, and love one another as how our God loves us. So let's get started and learn something new today. Perimeter and area. First, let's recap what is a perimeter and what is an area. Perimeter is the distance around a 2D shape while the area is the amount of space something takes up. So for example, we have here a rectangle. What would be the area and perimeter of this rectangle? Now, if you would notice here, each side of this square inside your rectangle is a one centimeter by one centimeter. So if it is one centimeter by one centimeter, we call it square or unit square. That is the reason why the unit for area is actually in square. So to find the area, it amounts to counting the number of squares. So we have to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Therefore, your area would be 8 centimeters square. So if we will solve this, all you need to do is multiply the length 4 centimeter and the width 2 centimeter, which also gives you 8 centimeter square. Now, how about the perimeter? The perimeter is the distance around your 2D shape. So, if this bottom side is 4 cm, therefore on top will also be 4 centimeter and the side will also be 2 centimeter. So, we have 2 of our 4 centimeter plus 2 of our 2 centimeter. Therefore, 2 times 4 will be 8 centimeter. 2 times 2 is 4 centimeter. So 8 plus 4 will be 12 centimeters. Now in this video, we will be covering the rectilinear shapes only. Now what is a rectilinear shape? A rectilinear shape is one whose edges all meet at right angles. So we actually have two ways or possible way to find the area in, in a rectilinear shape. One is we do an additive method and the other one is a subtractive method. In this video, I will show you the subtractive method. The additive method is just simply to cut the rectilinear shape into two shapes and add the area, area one and area two. However, in this video, I will show you how to do the subtractive method. Now, the first step in a subtractive method is we extend the sides here to form a bigger shape. So since you have 2 cm here on top and have 10 cm and we all know that opposite sides are equal in, in measure. So if that is 2, the remaining part here would be 10 minus 2 which is 8 cm. Now the same thing on the other side or opposite side, you will have 10 here and the measure on the right side is 3 cm. Therefore, 10 minus 3 will be 7 cm. So all the sides are actually in a measure of 10 by 10. So if we will be solving the area, the area would be area of the bigger shape, which is the whole shape that we have extended minus the area of the smaller shape. And the smaller shape would be the part only where we extend. So the area of the bigger shape will be 10 by 10, so 10 cm times 10 cm minus the area of the smaller shape which is 8 by 7, so 8 cm times 7 cm, 10 times 10 minus 8 times 7 would give us 44 cm square. Now how about the perimeter? The perimeter is simply adding all sides. So since this is equal, so this means this is also 7, and this is equal, that means this is also 8. So since there are 4 sides which are actually a total of 10, therefore perimeter will be 4 times 10 cm, that will give you 40 cm, which is our perimeter. Find the area and perimeter of the shape. 
Now, what is the first step? The first step would be we will extend the side on our right side and extend the side below. Now, if you would notice on the left side, this is 13 meters and on the right side, it's 7 meters. So 13 minus 7 meters will be the measure of the remaining side on the right. So this should be 6 meters. That means opposite to that would also be 6 meters. Now on top, we have 12 meters. Therefore, if this is 8 meters, opposite to that will be 8 meters. And the remaining side will be 12 minus 8, which is 4 meters. Now how do we find the area of this shape? Again, the area would be the area of the bigger side or bigger shape minus the area of the smaller shape. So the bigger shape would be the whole one which we have extended. That would be 13 meters times 12 meters minus the extended side or the extended part of the shape which is 8 meters by 6 meters. So 13 times 12 minus 8 times 6 will give us the area of the shape which is 108 meters square. Now how about the perimeter? The perimeter is simple. Since we have extended and this is the same 6 and 6, therefore perimeter would be 2 of our 13 meters plus 2 of our 12 meters. So 13 times 2 is 26. 2 times 12 is 24, which is 50 meters. Another example. Let's say we have this rectilinear shape. What is the area and perimeter? So what is the first step? The first step is to extend. Extend this side. Extend it to make a bigger shape. And we will have to subtract the shape's area for this two sides here. So the first thing that we have to know is what are the measure of your outer part. So if this is 5 cm and this is 5 cm, therefore this is 5 cm as well. And if this is 7 cm, this is 8 cm here. So that's 8 cm. That's the same measure. So 8 plus your 7 will be 15 Therefore, if that is 8, this is also 7 cm, so that is 15. So to find your area for the shape, area of the bigger shape would be 15 times 10. That's 5 and 5, so that's 10. Minus the smaller shape here is an 8 by 2, so minus 8 times 2, minus the shape on the side which is 8 by 5 so you have 8 times 5 so you have 15 by 10 that's 150 minus 8 times 2 is 16 minus 8 times 5 is 40 therefore the area is 94 centimeter square now how about the perimeter so if we will extend that that's actually 10 here and we have 15 here Therefore, the perimeter will be 2 of your 15 plus 2 of your 10. That will give us 50 centimeters. Now, this one is an extra. This is what we call a trapezium. What is the area and perimeter of this trapezium? Now, how did we come up or how did they come up with the formula area height times base 1 plus base 2? That's actually because this shape has two smaller shapes, which is a rectangle and a triangle. The rectangle here would be one of our bases times our height, and the area here would actually be one half base times height. That is where the one half times height of the area of the trapezium formula comes from. So we will have one half. The height, do not be deceived, it's not 6 cm, it's the 5 cm times the base, which is 7 cm, plus the base below it, or the side's length, plus 9 cm, 1 half times 5, times 7 plus 9, would be 40 cm square. 
Now how about the perimeter? The perimeter is simply to add all the sides. So you have 7, 6, 9, and 5, which will give you a perimeter of 27 centimeters. 